G'day guys, alright Taz, the fat ADV, <laughs> formerly known as the fat cruiser, on the Jeff Taz Welders BMW, it's an excellent bike, what's your uh, thoughts on it? Love it mate, yeah. good, handles well, still got a bit of confidence on the, to get on the gravel but all good, loving it. Awesome, can we see you on one shortly? Quite possibly. Yeah, I thought so. When I saw you scrape the pegs around that corner through the gog, I thought, yeah. Yeah, loving it. Yeah. We might go this way. Okay. And we'll just go down to the lake's edge and out. And then that'll put us on the main road there rather than where we came in yesterday. Yeah, good. Follow me, sir. Bennett's Wallaby. <laughs> so this is the canal that connects Brady's Lake into Tungatina. So Tungatina Canal, all part of the sort of hydroelectric scheme that runs in this area. Personal experience, that's where you want to be fishing. I've caught uh, my biggest trout and probably the most trout in this area in that canal for some reason. So that's, is that the actual lake? Like, where's that, the main waterway that's officially that flooded? Yeah, well, sort of that's Brady's, that's Tungatina, yeah. so they're actually separate lakes. Made, yeah? Yeah. yeah, so there would have been obviously sort of some some creek or water source or river through here originally yeah. and then those sort of flooded sections of it. Um, that, if you go through there it goes into another one and then it goes to the power station okay. and the power station is just at uh, Tauralea. There's sort of uh, a, a hydro village at Tauralea yeah. yeah. that's been turned into a tourist venture. Cool. So, we'll swing a left up here and we'll go out onto the road. Beautiful morning. Actually noticeably warmer than it was yesterday, which is a positive. This is day three of the Fat Cruiser's epic whirlwind Tassie tour. And my guess is that this is epic enough. Look at it. Absolutely spectacular part of Tasmania. Coming along the damn wall. Such awesome locations. This is the shittest spot I've ever parked.
morning. Good, thank you, man. Nineteen or something. Check Sam's credit. Uh, credit. You can't call yourself a real BMW rider. Why's that? Because you missed the opportunity to have a coffee at a cafe. Oh dear. Jesus. <laughs> Metal race. It's taking water from one water course to another down to power stations. They're quite impressive. It's an amazing valley through here. Very picturesque. Amazing the power of ice and what it can do to incredibly hard rock. This is a fat cruiser. Lots of just grassland plains through here. So if you came through at night, it would just be thick with wallabies and possums, wombats, native fauna. You remember I was telling you about the German dude in yeah. the um, video yeah. card? Yeah. <laughs> this is where he lived. Oh wow, just in here? Yep. Wow. So I've actually never ridden in here before, and I th always thought, well, why the f*** here? But there is actually a river just in there. Okay. So I thought, like, this is a terrible spot, because the nearest water course is up the top of the hill, but it's not. It's just in there. So it's a little bit better spot than I thought, but still pretty brutal. Absolutely. For most of his years, he was living under tarps, and in the last sort of five or six years, he had a old plywood caravan. That's amazing. Yeah. I couldn't imagine living out in this, in this terrain. Tough, eh? Rugged area, I mean. Yeah. How cold would it get here in the winters? Yeah, this is the coldest area of Tasmania. Yeah, so yeah. it's sort of the coldest on record up here is about minus 25. That's extreme with wind chill and stuff, but yeah, minus 10 is pretty frequent. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, yeah, tough. No wonder you're such a cranky old bastard. I would be too. Me too. <laughs> My knees would be giving me hell. Absolutely. Yeah. He must have been a fit old bastard though. Shit, yeah. yeah. He was lean as buggery yeah. and just looked like a little marathon runner. Yeah, right. No vehicle or nothing. Um, he just used to apparently walk out onto the road up there and thumb a lift with some of the truckies. Yeah, right. And some of the truckies would sort of drop him off food from Deloraine and things. That's amazing. Mm, tough life, eh? Absolutely. How long ago since they cleared him out again? Uh, he died. Oh, um, I think it was 06 or something like that. Okay. But yeah, he was here for years. Like he it was died just. Out here or he ended up in a hospital or something? Nah, he died out here, I think. Yeah, wow. Yeah. As far as I know, yeah. Unbelievable. It's probably one of those situations where truckies hadn't seen him for a few days and yep. came down. And I imagine he developed a fair reputation. The pub's only 10, 15 minutes down the road and things, so he probably had a few people looking out for him in the final sort of yeah. throw. But yeah, it'd be an awesome life. Crazy. Well, that um wasn't quite as sketchy not as, as bad. Nah. I was just about to say, yeah, that's not as bad today. 
which is good. I don't know, it's maybe because they've graded it a bit more. And it's dried out a bit. Yeah. I reckon yeah. Um, they sort of ran the water truck over it, this bit that they're grading now, because yeah. this bit's a lot sketchier than where it was. Just now here, mm. yeah, that we're going into. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Looking good on the Beamer. It's a beautiful bike and he's riding it exceptionally well. People out on the river, people out on the lake. It's a real famous fly fishery, this one too. They've had the world championships here a few times. This is what it's all about, sharing an adventure with some mates. And Pat Cruz and I met through YouTube. And here we are, less than 12 months after talking through our channels, riding Tasmania's wilderness. Couldn't be better. This has been a fantastic few days. It's been great to get to know him. Get to know the man behind the mask, so to speak. Yeah. Can't wait. For more motorcycle adventures with the Fat Cruiser. There's plenty of Tasmania yet to see. If he does a less epic whirlwind tour, comes down for a good week or 10 days would be absolutely awesome. You can see why people just throw it all in and go touring with their mates. It would be an absolutely amazing lifestyle. Take three months off and ride around Australia. Take a year off, ride around the world. It would be an amazing lifestyle.